Hello again, traders. Right, this is the uh, fourth attempt at this, so I apologise for all the lines on the charts. I'm not going to clear it. Well, I will clear it down, actually. Um, I didn't intend to, but laziness doesn't do anyone any good. So let's get rid of most of those lines. And um, see if we can do this from scratch. Now, I am doing this because this is one of the best looking charts I've ever woken up to by mistake and got a couple of decent trades out of. So <clears throat> we talked about affirmation over the weekend. I'm not, I won't get rid of those arrows. but uh, And um, this is probably one of the best affirmation setups that I could ever show you. So basically, I woke up about four o'clock this morning uh, for a comfort break, and um, I, I open my charts as I do. I love to trade gold at this time of day. I hate being involved in gold at uh, the London and Frankfurt Open, which is where we are right now, 7.12 in the morning, and it's the Frankfurt Open. We're not going to talk about what's happening in that. All I want to talk about is this perfect, perfect setup. So I mentioned about um uh creating a checklist and i think that's really important on top of the affirmation you know watching a video every day until you don't have to until you can see trades in your sleep but um a checklist five minute 15 minute 30 minute uh h uh, hourly h4 d1 you know you can add as many columns as you want you know it's not a bad idea to be honest with you to have them all in there weekly don't need the monthly and then just say right every you know three crs have i got three crs on uh, multiple time frames yes thank you very much in the direction of my trade of course what's the dragon looking at am i correct on the dragon we'll talk about the uh, various ma's there in a moment <coughs> um do i have i broken for a short trade have i broken through buyers have i got a very a very good uh, liquidity point in other words uh, demand level below me or supply above me where the algos are going to be trying to uh, fake traders in and uh, and uh, reverse on them gather their money get discount orders load up down here for discount orders for a potential long that's what I'll be watching for on here um, but that isn't trade advice that's not what I'm here for I'm here to talk about charts so 89 EMI EMA we talked about that at the weekend Lots of you don't like the dragon on your charts. Well, I think you're mad. Absolute bonkers. Because look what happened. I could see the price was, when I woke up, this is my first trade, when I woke up, I could see price was below the 89 EMA, uh, below the dragon. Then I could see it tested the 89 EMA. That's this green thing. I've thickened it up for you. And um, we'd, t we'd tested it, we'd broken it, we'd come back to test it, and then I got my trigger to go short sorry that's uh aaron's 3cr indicate alert going going a good one and uh, there is does look like it's uh, pushing on down but uh not bother about that now but um back to these charts so the reason i've got that arrow there is because look low high high low broke the 89 ema pulled back continued up fantastic trade opportunity there uh low high high low high high broke the 89 ema Everything else pack, uh, agreed. In the long trade, we're above zero on the RSI histo. Fantastic, all good. You don't have to overcomplicate this, guys. The other thing that is a, the number one thing you want to do, and that's why the dragon's on here, because it will always coincide with what I do, because, you know, price action first, indicators added back when they uh, agreed with the three candle reversal. So there's an uptrend. New um, highs after breaking through uh, recent highs. And then that becomes a valid connection point. That's something I missed for years and years and years. And once I got that eureka moment, I was absolutely killing it. There's the downtrend. Two lines on your chart. You could get rid of everything else if you want to. Those two lines are critical. Well, not everything else. Then you need the RSI histo and you need the three CRs. But the dragon, high, low, lower high, 
lower low the moment that low is broken there that's a valid trend line um, touch point that is not valid you could not draw that line if this had not been broken and then it comes back to test it and then boom we're off so what else on this chart right well we drew we need to be below on our checklist are we below buyers for a sell trade Yes, thank you very much. There's the buyers. We're below them. Off you go. Tick box. Have we got liquidity below us? Yes, thank you very much. That's an uptrend created by all of these sellers. You could add it over there as well if you want to be pedantic. And then, uh, what else have we got? Um... Oh, well, we can draw that uh, that line in there because that's the low. And lo and behold, look what price is doing right now. So testing that line to the pip, to be honest with you. So, you know, everything you need is on your charts. Look left when you're waiting to see what you should be looking for on the right-hand side. So you can't see any of this. But you're looking left thinking, mm, yeah, get over the top of that uh, 89 EMA and I'm good to go. Right, okay, next thing, higher time frames. Go back to the line chart, I like it, it's tidier. M30. What does M30 tell us? Well, we're below zero and we've got the old momentum and we've got three CRs and all that lot. We're below um, levels. In fact, you could see another level broken there. There down pull back that was a valid connection point the minute that low was broken so and you can see price dropped below it pulled back and tested it <coughs> um, remember these levels they're arbitrary 20 and minus 20 could just as easily be uh, 18 and minus 18 or 21 and minus 21 whoever created this I have no idea why he chose 20 and 20, minus 20. But all we're worried about is seeing new momentum. Bust, pull back, break and close below the bust level, that's new momentum. It's better if it's uh, stronger. The stronger it is, the better it is, obviously. But notice over here, and this is why I talk about looking at left-hand side, it didn't break the 20, but it went up. If you'd waited for the 20 to get broken, you still would have got a bit of the trade but you may uh, have missed the meat and potatoes. So, and remember, a new momentum bar, something higher than the previous bar, higher than the previous bar, is going to be a valid trigger on the lower time frames, or as near as damn it valid. So always remember that. I don't mention that enough either. What else have we got on this chart that's really interesting and why I wanted to make it? We have the 34 EMA. See that? 34 the dragon is a 34 anything you notice about that thin uh, line in the middle of the 34 that looks like the 89 chart we looked at on the 15 minute the 89 EMA so you could say okay on h1 and m30 am I have I trended with momentum above the 34 close that's the high that's the low that's the close have I broken through the 34 close on H1M M, um, M30? Oh, look, yeah. Broke, pulled back, tested it, continued down. So, you know, you can add that to your tick box, but it will be already the case if the 15-minute 89 EMA has been broken. So if your 30-minute 89 EMA is uh, closed below, that's even better. Same goes for the 30 minute on that long trade there. So many things that simplify our job. And uh, I won't go on much more. So once again, H1, possible long above the, um, the M30, M50. Perfect. Descending trend line on an hourly chart. Valid descending trend line, should I say. Valid descending, ascending trend line. And here we go with the... Uh, RSI histo as well, below zero, growing momentum, or 
you know, and sometimes you can even put divergence in there as well. Sorry, I forgot to even mention that. That can be on the list as well. Is divergence there? It doesn't have to be, but if it is, wow. Thank you very much. Let's have a bit of that. And then even H4, we talked about that on your checklist. You know, H4, as long as it's red, closed, the previous, it must close. You can't enter on a red bar that hasn't finished yet because that could easily turn green. Vice versa for longs. A green bar could easily turn red. All these little tools in our toolbox we can add by multi-time multi frame analysis. You know, that, that little line in the middle there. How fantastic is that? You know, not mentioned very often, but uh, that's why another reason I have the dragon on my charts. I'm not a fan of MAs. I've traded them in the past. I prefer precision candlestick trading. But if I have to, uh, well, not if I have to, but if they agree with my three candle reversals and they agree with the RSI histo, use them. Another quick point. Everyone talks about volume. It's just a complication. Why would you worry about volume when you've got momentum? Couldn't give a toss about volume, sorry, to the volume people. The RSI does it all. One in indicator. Because the RSI agrees with the three candle reversal, the three CR. And the three CR, I could trade that with nothing on my charts. Not a thing. Three CR and a line chart and a few horizontal levels. So... Keep things simple, guys. I know my charts look complicated, but they ain't. And lastly, don't expect to be able to trade after 15 minutes uh, looking at a chart and buying some super-duper uh, trading um, uh, course. Steffi Graf and the Williams sisters didn't learn to play tennis overnight. How many thousands of times do you think those people have to uh, practice their, uh, their um, serves to get to the point where they can do it in front of a million people, you know? So why should you expect to be able to make money, load yourself up with Ferraris and Lambos and Breitlings and Rolexes for spending 15 minutes in front of the charts in your pyjamas, you know? This takes, look at that going down still, how fantastic. Um, this takes hours and hours years and years of staring at charts i'm trying to make your life easy and it's free so what's not to like you know uh, i love reading books the knights templar i read they they took 12 years before they could get their chain mail on and uh you know the crusaders people type uh, knights and get their swords in their hands 12 years architects five or six years doctors 10 years air uh, pilots six or seven years i think and then training every year for hours and hours and hours and then they have to work for a living those guys all of those guys actually have to work for a living you know once you've sussed this out 4 a.m i rolled over this morning 4 30 or so i was in a trade and i could see where this was going to go right from the start and look what it's done so practice makes perfect affirmations don't be lazy Four people replied, I think, to uh, my res my uh, suggestion that you make your own video. Get your free software. Make your own affirmation video. Or if not, find someone like this. Wix don't lie. Roger Banks is fantastic. Study his stuff. Whatever. But watch it. Sit down. Make yourself a coffee. Mine's getting cold right now. Um, and, um, you know, do whatever works for you. But at least try what worked for other people. Three or four people, five people maybe, have said affirmations work for them. And I know those guys are making trades. They're making trades, following this simple method. It doesn't have to be my method, because this isn't my method. This is a one, two, three, Vix Barandio, uh, lower high entry, or a higher low in the opposite direction. 2B reversals, you know, cup and handles, all of these... Uh, Nothing is new here. I posted charts from 1932. Uh, Chris sent us a link to charts from 1770-something. Uh, the tulip, what's it? The tulip boom. You know, just like the crypto boom and the dot-com boom. You know, 
they all come and go, but these charts don't. So uh, there you go. Sorry for the rant, guys, but a um, couple of trades. It's not even 7.30 a.m., and I'm not interested in what goes on in the uh, London and uh, Frankfurt Open. It's a bum fight. <clears throat> I'd prefer to get these trades all day long. So, Dragon, 89 EMA. Just have a look at that 15 minute there. Because that is a perfect, perfect textbook. 3CR, Dragon, Momentum. Space between supply and demand, trade. Thanks for watching. Have a great week, guys.